hello everyone today i'm going to improve this crocodiles ai so that uh, once i uh, go away from their visibility range they will still continue to uh, look in the last seen location otherwise they will return to their normal free roaming behavior but if i move away more than thousand meters from the last seen location they will consider that they have lost their target and they will do free roaming as uh, like this now they are not actually that guy is not actually following me he's just doing a free roam if i go in front of him yeah now he has seen me and when i go behind this wall i am not visible to it but still he's coming at me because he he thinks I would be here see but if I move more than 1000 meters from the last scene location it considers that I have lost it he has lost the target and returns to free roaming so that's what I am going to do today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for the support you are giving me Right, so in the last part, we implemented a way to for these uh, crocodiles to keep following us if they uh, see the player character. So, but uh, I haven't implemented any other way for them to uh, go back to their original territory when the player is out of their range. So that's the part I wish to implement today. Right. First, let me open <coughs> the behavior tree of the crocodile. So, right. So this free roaming. Uh, if the enemy is not set free roaming happens if the enemy is set uh, this following the enemy and then if the player is within the range crocodile tries to attack so what i need to do is unsetting this enemy variable if player moves out of the visibility range so to do that let me open the AI of the crocodile. And here we check we check if the player or player or whatever the character the crocodile sees if it is an enemy. If it is the enemy, we set this uh, blackboard key. Uh, but for future reference let's promote this to a variable and keep it i'll call it enemy right now let's call it current enemy this will make more sense if there can be more than one enemy in the level right now when player is going out of the out of the when the enemy is going out of the visibility range i think this uh, uh, this on target perception updated should be called with the false value i'm not sure about that so let's see do a print with that name to check if that's the case yeah that's the case because I saw here just the name of third person character is printed okay um no wait so before that oh yeah let's check the range 
lose side radius is 3500 okay that should be enough right now when we go out of the visibility range we need to check if that actor we just lost seen is the current enemy so we can check if it is equal to the current enemy and if it is true don't think we need this print here now so here I type lost uh, no let's just call it stopped chasing then let's print the name of the character let's keep it like 20 seconds in the screen so that we have enough time to read And again, I'm gonna set the enemy. One literal name is enough. Enemy blackboard variable with uh, with nothing. Oh wait, we need still set the target as the blackboard right now let's see right now the crocodile saw me and if I go here okay still it can see me let me run away right now I got a stop chasing third person character but To make the debugging easier let me remove one of the crocodiles okay scene Let's stop chasing Right, but still it seems like crocodile is chasing me let's check yeah it is why ah right I think there is another function clear value yeah I think that's the function I should use right okay scene oh, wait no not seen okay see let me run away right stop chasing bust 
uh, is it still here? Mm, boy. Right in here, uh, when we select this uh, decorator of this sequence, uh, there is an option in under flow control notify observer on results change and observer boards nothing. So let's sell set it to about self so I think this part will be stopped and yeah once the enemy see the enemy see once uh, the crocodile see an enemy it should also abort this free roaming part as well so let's set it to abort self now one immediately the crocodile sees the player it should start following right like that and when i go away the stop it should be stop chasing no i think he saw me again let me run away right stop chasing now it's going somewhere else okay and let's add something some barrier here to set uh, to check what happens if we get behind this barrier let's see if the crocodile is immediately losing the sight yeah okay now let me run behind this barrier okay he stopped chasing because the vision is lost but if you select the AI perception under sense AI sense sight there is an option to auto set success range from last seen location if not an invalid invalid range we will always be able to see the target that has already been seen if there are within this range as from the last location so let's set this to thousand so i guess the crocodile will not immediately lose the sight when i get behind this object let's see Yeah, it is still coming. But if I move more than thousand meters from the last point, he don't see me anymore. So he has stopped chasing me now. See, that's a more realistic behavior, I think. Right now he saw me. Stop chasing. All right, maybe the last registered location of this character for him is something larger than the difference is something larger than thousand, I guess. Right. Let me hide away. Okay, now he has lost my sight all right so yeah so this system should work with even if there are two crocodiles yeah one of them saw me stop chasing let me run in front of both okay now they both saw me okay stop chasing again chasing they saw me
write stuff jesse okay it is working for multiple characters when there are multiple characters and another thing is another issue i have here is i can go through the body of these crocodiles that's because i have implemented these crocodiles as characters and see this capsule only covers only this area of the body of the crocodile so let's see if we can do something about it what's the okay for the mesh we don't have physics collision let's enable physics collisions as well and I have set the object type to phone and ignored visibility and camera collisions uh, but other things are uh, default values for the pawn preset now let's check how oh, still I can okay let's check the ragdoll of this crocodile I mean the physics asset can okay, just have collisions boxes right what if we change this to wait oh it ignores the pawn collision I think that should be the reason what if I change this to red door? No, still. We undo that and let's block for. right now I can't go through their bodies and also they don't overlap with each other okay and they like to jump in when they bump into each other all right right with that i'd like to stop this episode and thanks for watching so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye